We're in Stara Zagora, Bulgaria at a bride market. This is the biggest annual celebration of the Roma clan, the Kalaiji. And here, young Kalaiji girls are sold by their families to suitors who bid on them. Are you asking me how much money I am? We're here to find out why these markets are happening and how the young brides feel about being sold off. What the fuck? He shot me! The 18,000 strong Kalaiji clan is a subgroup of the Roma people who face constant prejudice and exclusion across Europe. Based in the region of Thrace in central Bulgaria, they have drawn international attention for their controversial annual bride market. Women openly being sold like property in a European country in 2016 seems ludicrous. I want to explore how something that sounds so medieval can exist within modern society. I'm meeting with a Kalaiji family with two daughters. I think this is where they live. To see how they prepare for the bride market. Peppa. Peppa is 25 and Rossi 19. Milan, nice to meet you. How are you? I get a warm welcome Hi. from their mom, Vera. Then Peppa offers to give me a tour of the house. I'm going to go to 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 the <laughs> There's only two bedrooms to share between all eight of them, and the living room doubles up as a bedroom for the parents. Като сложени на булка от нашите трябва да знае да готви, да доставят на свекара, на свекарвата. No matter where you go in the world, the family photos always seem to come out. Vera was sold to their dad, Christo, at a bride market. I want to know how the family feels about the prospect of Peppa and Rossi also being sold in a couple of days. Момити, които са женят за първи път, трябва да са си моми, детствени. Много е важно, защото са дават много пари. Просто ако не е момата детствена, като я продадеш, започват да приказват за нас долни курви, мъсти и такива. Значи сме изпаднали. I'm taken aback by how matter of fact they all are about the possibility of being sold off. Saturday is the big bride market. Have you already found some suitable men for your daughters? Не намерихме много матерни харесват. Да, но ние които искаме те ни. Те ако кажа, да, тогава ние искаме, така става конфликт. Unsurprisingly, Vera and her daughters don't have the same taste in men. Vera tells me there are strict rules surrounding Kalaiji girls' contact with guys. But Peppa and Rossi have found the loophole. So the girls are showing me the guys they talk to on social media. You're like a million times hotter. <laughs> <laughs> There's this one boy I think is really cute right now. No? No? no. no. What kind of boys do you like? <laughs> oh my god! He looks terrifying! <laughs> Jesus! You would kiss him? <laughs> Rossi has her eye on one guy in particular. <laughs> Will he be at the market? Da. So his parents want to ask for your hand? Da. da. I ask if they're ever allowed to spend time alone with their potential future husbands. They may not have the freedoms that I take for granted. 
but they are allowed to spend big on clothes to impress the opposite sex. <laughs> but even with all these clothes, the girls want to hit the shops to make sure they turn heads on the big day. Нема, искам да е цялата пантери на самата рокля. When you go to the market, how important is the dress? What are the things that will make you get a higher price? Да имаш златни накити. Обувките да са стилни с роклята в тон. А някои, които са облечени по-така, не ги харесват. Колкото сме по-възпитани, по-интелигентни, семейството ни е по-добро, толкова повече цената се вдига. Имаше някои момиче над 20 и казваха стара мума. Майко, виж на фото бяла. Роклята ще бъде тази. Бялата рокличка ти мяса. Като бува е дантела и бува е дантела. Rossi's outfit costs almost an average Kalaiji weekly salary, but Vera considers it an investment into her daughter's future. Let's try this. Then it was my turn to try on some looks. Wow. I grabbed the opportunity to ask if they ever dream of a different life than that of a housewife. Bankier. Cosmetic frizzier. Does anything stand in the way for you to fulfill these dreams? Ами да, традицията. Образованието, традицията ни позволява и защото ние пък някакъв по-старовременен да пази традиции и така нататък, няма да се съгласи, нали, да очеваме ние на работа. Той ще каже, че се стоя вкъщи, гледай се деца. Would you like to study and go to school? Да. Да, разбира се, кой не иска да се изпърне мечтата. Only 10% of Bulgarian Roma women have secondary education and one in five are illiterate. With all the restrictions imposed on girls to preserve Kalaiji tradition, I want to find out what their social life is actually like. Отиваме при моите братовчетки. Сега ще ме запозная с тях. Това е Мима. Запознай се. Приятно ми е с Мила. Найс ми и. Това е Пепа. Това са близначките. Тя е по-малката сестричка. The twins Пепа и Мима are 19 and Vera only 16. I'm curious to know what the girls think is their most highly prized asset as a potential bride. I could never marry a guy if I haven't at least tried to sleep with him before. <laughs> 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 Do you think that's fair? No. How do you feel about the bride market? It becomes a scary thing. Because it's possible for some parents to give a girl to this girl that has more money, and the other one, let's say, is a little bit of a poor girl, and she loves it. Is that a fear? Yes. There are cases in which the girl and the girl want to love the girl, but the girl is a little bit of a poor girl. Ако момичето е по-черноко, а момчето, те са възможни, богати са родителите на момчето, е те няма да искат заснаха момичето. Ще искат друга по-красива. Ще искат по-красива. Бяло русно. С сини очи. Being married off to an older rich man is a legit fear. I want to chat to Peppa, who at 25 is already old in Kalaiji terms. The majority of girls marry between 13 and 20. Do you feel the pressure on you now at this market coming up that you have to find a husband? Да, все пак е сложно, защото тук съм живяла 25 години. Не знам дали ще мога да свикна там, където ще отида. Това ми е много трудно. Ама е страх да не изгреша, колкото се може гледам да избира най-добрия вариант за мен. I haven't even married anyone yet and I'm 33, so I can't hear it. Pepe is lucky as her parents are patient 
and want her to find Mr. Right. It's time to try some outfits for the bride market. What do you usually do when you get together? Govorim si, pravim snimki, kajčo mi do Facebook. Slušam je muzika, tancuo mi preko tih Do you know Kim Kardashian? The queen of the selfies, I'll show you. So when you do that, the face you do. The girls seem caught between conforming to a traditional culture, but also wanting to embrace modern life. Investing in two daughters at marrying age must be expensive. So I asked their father, Crystal, to tell me about the family business. Cheap goods from China are affecting the once valued Kalaiji trade. I'm starting to see why a high bride price has become even more important. It's the night before the bride market, and Vera's invited the extended family over for a party. <laughs> So I've been given a Kiliji makeover. It's a pretty interesting experience just how they celebrate. They dress up and they take lots of photos and they put it all up on Facebook to sort of show how much of a fun time they're having. But the reality is that they can't even leave their house and everyone around is just a family. It's the morning of the bride market. But before we go, I've arranged to meet a girl who's rebelling against her family's desire to sell her off. Why would they take you out from school so early? Would you like to study and have you been able to go to school? I would like to continue with my education. One day, business dama, уважаема. Мечтата ми е тази, но някой ден. Но трябва да се откажа от семейството ми. Vasi has a boyfriend who's not Kalaiji. I ask what would happen if her parents found out. Ще му женят на сила за Калайджа, след като аз няма да съм съгласна. И няма да му пуснат вече да излизам с него. Вели да се продават. Ми мисля, че това са пълни глупости и живелици. How are you feeling today? What's considered beautiful? 
такова подобно в едни такива малки кучи. Помада. И се слага на лицето и стои много бяло. Хака. По принцип, по-възрастните Защото, хора, да като видят да някои по-бели момичета така, по този начин, много ги харесват. What's the average bride price? 5-600. Ами, за Пепа вече ми дадаха около 6, ама не съм ме дала. А за Росито ми дават много повече. Радвам се, като надават много пари, значи са хубави, харесаха ги. Have the markets changed from when you were younger? Да, много. Да слушам майка си и баща си, където кажете, това момче да взема. Ма за напред са заобичах ми и живей. Вече съм готова, отивам на пазара. The Bride Market is held a 20-minute drive away in Stara Zagora, in a big parking lot where some 2,000 kalaiji were getting the party started. <laughs> Most of the girls eligible to be bid on at the market are 13 to 20 years old. And the bidding has already begun. The girls are getting loads of attention. The suitors are here and everyone's checking each other out. Peppa and Rossi seem excited. It hits me that this is the one time a year they can hang out with so many guys. Is that your guy that you like behind us? Yeah, he's not bad. He just blanks her. I wonder if he's put off by our crew. I get the hint and go off and check out the atmosphere. How do you flirt? I'm so have any boys shown any interest in you? No, no, no. No. Yes. <laughs> Who do you think is cute? <laughs> what kind of girl are you looking for? Първо трябва да е красива, трябва да е честна и най-важното да се обичам. Do you like the idea of a bidding on a girl? Ами не ми харесва много, ама такива са нашите традиции, няма как. А, окей. Са женищи под за мен. You don't mind a strong woman? I want all my independence, I want to travel everywhere I want in the world. Nobody's ever asking me where I am, what I'm doing or why. As soon as I walked in, guys started surrounding me, asking how much I have. I feel fundamentally uncomfortable with women being sold and bid on. So I want to speak to Vera to find out what would actually happen if a suitor bids on one of her daughters today. Speaking to Vera, it's apparent that the bride market is more like a massive speed dating event rather than the forced marriage market that the media reports. Just before the market finishes, I managed to catch up with Rossi. Do you think that you'll find a future husband today? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
The girls seem happy to have made it through the day without being sold off. Even Vera doesn't seem too bothered and accepts the tradition is not as rigid as it used to be. Is this market different to when you were younger? I can't forget that these girls are being raised to serve future husbands instead of pursuing their ambitions. But the bride market ended up being less disturbing than I feared it would be. Perhaps this is just a Kalaiji's way of hanging on to their traditions, their pride and identity in an ever-homogenized world. <laughs>